Hello guys, I know it's been a while. So in today's video, we're gonna now configure a PPPoE network. So this is an example of a uh, PPPoE network. So for this one, we'll use a tender router. This is a tender F3 router that I had lying around. And for this one, this is not the 5009 we configured in the earlier video, but this is our L009. So I'll quickly configure this micro tick and then show you now how you set up a PPPoE network using the Centipede billing system. So net, as you can see, I've provisioned my micro tick and it's alive and kicking. So the first thing I can do to this micro tick is, let's say, change the identity and call this wave call 009. That's the first thing. I can just change the identity of that micro tick. As you can see now, it's wave call 009. It's online. I can connect to that micro tick via a win box this winbox address. So the first thing is to come and create a package. So we need to create few PPPoE package and you can use our quick templates or our package guide, but I'll actually show you on how to create now a PPPoE package on this video. So just click here to create a package. Select this is a PPPoE package. Now here set the name. An example, it's like a five meg package. 5 Mbps, let's call this like 5 Mbps package. Duration for PPPoE, it's normally a month, but you can specify this one. So if you need your clients, let's say, to have a 5 meg package that they can be paying weekly, you can also specify over here. So what the speed? The speed, it's 5 meg, so that is 5 M. Why M? This is the EG, the example. 5 M, it will cap the speeds to 5 Mbps. So also the upload is 5 Mbps and also the download at 5 Mbps. What's the price for this package? So this one will charge it at 1,000 Kenyan shillings. Then you can enable these advanced feature. This is known as BAST. So though for you who don't understand BAST, so once you have, let's say you have created the PPPoE, the name, month, and the speed, you can click Create. But if you need to check on the advanced feature, if I click yes, what does BAST do? does? So BAST enables a user, let's say when a user hits, let's say the 5 Mbps cap, he can be boosted, let's say, to a speed like 8 Mbps, that is 8 meg. BAST threshold, this is the speed at which the BAST should kick, should kick in. So uh, the BAST should kick in when a user reaches 5 meg, when he's hitting 5 meg. So if you paste here 5 meg, N should burst for only like 4 seconds or so. Then you can create it. But if you don't need the burst feature, just disable it over here. So for mine, I just need the burst feature. So let me just create. So as you can see, I have my 5 meg package, the price, and the speed. So let's create another package. Let's create this is, uh, let's call this a 10 meg package. That is 10 meg, 10 mbps package so this is a 10 meg package so here i set also a month that is one month and the speeds are 10 meg by 10 meg so for the 10 meg package let's give it a selling price of around 2000 kn shillings so for this one i'll not enable the burst feature but i can enable it so the speed to burst let's say to 15 meg when the user hits 10 meg for only like three seconds but for this one, I'll not enable this. So I'll just create. So now we have two packages, two PPPoE packages. Once you have created a PPPoE package, is to go and then create a PPPoE user. So just come here under users. So we need to create a PPPoE user. If you click here on create a user, then this is a PPPoE user. Here you can specify. For mine, if you can remember on the previous video my sms my payment gateway is with api so with api you will actually you can specify the account number clients can pay with but if you're new, you are not using paybill with api these normally comes auto generated this account number section normally comes auto generated for for so for this case it's a phone number like that this instant will be called patrick I cannot, uh, if you want to specify the last name, you can specify over here. So the, now this username is the one that will actually set on the tender router. I will actually show you how you set this out. 
So I'll give this user Patrick for the username and a very simple password of 4567 for that. So this one is the one that I'll actually set on now the tender router itself. So Patrick will be a five, let's say Patrick will be a five meg client. And here I can specify the expiry date for Patrick. So let's say the expiry date today is on 16. So let the, let's say the expiry date, let's say 20th. And here I have to specify the phone number for Patrick. So I'll just pick here my phone number. Here fill the uh, email address for Patrick. And did the client pay an installation fee? Yes, he did pay an installation fee of around 2,000 Kenyan shillings. Here you can set specific information like the address. So he's in Utawala. And you can set here house number B7, something like that. Then you can send a welcome SMS to that PPPOE user. So it will be, hello, Patrick. Your PPPOE account has been created. Your account number, the one that I specified here. You can pay. You can also log in. So the customer normally has a um, customer login page where they can pay for their Wi-Fi using an SDK push. There's no need to fill in there using their pay bill and account number. Then when everything is okay, as for mine, I can see everything is okay. I can just create the account. So just give it like two minutes for you to create an account. And you can see Patrick has been created. Um, it's a five meg package. It's expiring in three days from now. And the status is an active client. So let's create another package. So for this one, I'll call this. Let me just set another number for this one. Let me just give the number. So for this one, I'll call him. Let's call him Ibrahim. And the username, let's say it Ibrahim. And the password, also the same password. Password is 4567. Then this will be a 10 meg client. And expiry date for this user. Sorry about that. I don't know why NodePass is actually disturbing me right now. So let me just guess a number over here. Then the expiry date, let me just set for 24th. You can fill in the email address for the client if you want. If you don't want, you can also leave it blank. Did the client pay for an installation fee? Yes, he did. Of two of three thousand for the 10 meg package. He lives in let's say Kasarani. And then comment this is house number, house number B8, something like that. Then send welcome, then create. Now give it just like two minutes for it to create now the PPPOE package now for this user. So we have two users, Ibrahim who expires in one week and Patrick who expires in three days. So the next thing to do now is to go onto the micro tick and then show you how now you configure now those clients on the tender router. So first we'll start with the tender router itself. So the first thing to do is now to reset the tender router. So just press on this button to reset the tender router. You will see these lights blink. Now the tender router has been reset without plugging anything either from your switch or from the micro tick. First, let's configure the tender router itself. So when you are done resetting now the tender router, we're going to now pick one user. So you will pick the Patrick user. So we, we just need the username and password for this user. So the Patrick is a five meg. Remember, Patrick is a five meg user. So what I can do, now let's check on our Wi-Fi. Um, when the tender router has been reset, you should write something like tender with some digits or some letters in front of it. So let's connect to that tender so that you can do the configuration. So you can access the tender, the web page for the tender, either via 192.168.0.1 or via 192.168.1.1. So we'll click on the PPPOE, the username. What's the username? The username is this one that was created. So just let's copy this username, paste it over here, then come, copy this password, paste it over here under the password section. So normally this is done via phone, or let's say if you have a machine during the site, you can also do this. So what's the Wi-Fi name? So for this one, we'll just set Wiveco PPPOE, 
and the password i'll just set a simple password of one two three four five six seven and eight then i can just click on ok to apply the changes as you can see i've been disconnected to the wi-fi so if i was to connect if i was let me just turn this one on and back on again as you can see here i have wave copy ppoe and now i can connect to this ppoe network so if you made a mistake during the configuration as you can see i've connected into the wave copy ppoe but i don't have any internet connection it's seeing connected but it doesn't have any internet connection because if i try to open let's say like google.com something like google let's just open like something like fast.com as you can see i have nothing it doesn't have any internet connection so we'll fix this one so if you made a mistake and you need to edit the pppoe credential just use the 192.160.0.1 that you used before so i've seen this one as disconnected so that this is 192.168.0.1 so come here under internet settings here is where you can now change if you messed up with the username you can change it over here if you messed up with the password you can also change it over here if you need to change the wi-fi name here is where you change it and if you also need to update the password here is where you can actually update the password to your preference so let's go now plug now that tender router to the network now by using now the help of another patch code another cat6 patch code i've plugged from port 2 these ports from port 2 to port to the 8th port are configured for both pppu and hotspot so by using now this patch code i've patched from port 2 it can either be from port 2 from your switch from your hiosso olt but from port 2 i've plugged it now to the one port you see the one side i've plugged it to the one side of this tender router and now when we jump now to the computer, I should be having an internet connection capped at 5 meg using now this deployment because I used the PPPA credentials for Patrick, which is capped at 5 meg. So let's go now and see on the laptop if that's so. And success! We can see there is one user that is active. Patrick is active. He expires in three days. As you can see the session for this user started 31 seconds ago and patrick should be capped at 5 meg let's do a fast.com speed test but he can burst remember we set burst for this user he can burst up to 8 meg but his speed is not actually 8 meg as you can see the speed is actually going down it will stabilize at 5 meg for this user this is 5 mbps for this user and then if you let's say if you are to click on patrick click on report over here as you can see i've actually pulled some traffic according to the system now let's change now this user patrick now to ibrahim the 10 meg client and see what will happen so i'll just log in into my tender router that is 192.168.0.1 come here under internet settings and then I change them to, let's confirm the login credentials for Ibrahim. So for Ibrahim, it's Ibrahim, then password, the same, same password. So I'll just copy this one. So let me just paste Ibrahim here. And then it's using the same password. Then I click. Okay. So it will save the changes. So it's checking the username. And now I can serve the internet. If it was to come and refresh. As you can see, Ibrahim is the one that is active and expiring from one week from now. Then, if we are to open now our fast.com speed test and then run the speeds, as you can see, Ibrahim is capped at 10 meg because for this user, no burst has been set. And that's how you configure a PPPoE network on Centipede. Super, super, super easy process. Till next time, guys.